the following is harmful and could possibly could be harmful to babies. Viewer discretion is advised. Be careful. I've got a question for all you out there. A question that not a lot of people have ever really thought about to try to answer. The question is, well, a really important one and could actually save your life someday if you really have to think about it and process it. That question being, how exactly would I kill every single animal on this earth? There are different levels to exactly how powerful these animals are and exactly how hard it would be to be able to defeat them, let alone kill them. So, with that being said, I have sorted these animals into tiers of exactly what it would take for me to be able to defeat them. The first animal we got on this list is actually the squirrel. Now, how exactly would I go about defeating a squirrel if we were both trapped in one little white area and we had to duke it out for survival? Well, how much power would it take to be able to beat the living shit out of a squirrel is my real question here. And if you think about it, it doesn't take a whole lot to punch a squirrel, right? So, with that being said, I would have to go, this tier for how to defeat a squirrel would be one harm behind the back, the other all up in that squirrel's face and giving it those nuts that it always wanted. The next animal I want to put into this tier is actually a little bit more difficult to defeat than a squirrel. In fact, it might be a little bit harder because I don't think one punch would exactly kill it, just harm it a little bit more severely. So I'd have to go with this next category. I'd have to go gopher on this one, you know. I, they got the big ass teeth that I want to punch the fuck in and it, they'd be a little bit difficult to defeat because them is feisty. And them is so feisty that I don't know how to defeat them other than punch, punch. What's that? Dodge, dodge? Fucking whammo. You got no chance. You're a fucking gopher. Next. The last animal I would like to throw into this category would actually be a little bit more creepy and a little bit more crawly. And he's a little bit more dangerous com when you compare them to the last two. And that's because there are certain types of this that could really do some damage if you let them go hog wild. So, last but not least, I'm going to have to go spider for this category. Because, yeah, any spider out there, they can be dangerous. They can be venomous. They could be really scary. They could look creepy and crawly. And they could be big, nasty monsters. I don't want to have to deal with that. I'm going to be honest with you. I fear for my life whenever I see an itsy bitsy spider crawling up the water spout. So much so that my immediate first thought is run and get the fuck out of there. Spiders are scary. I don't know if you've seen one recently, but they're terrifying. So how exactly would I go about defeating a spider with one arm tied behind my back? Well, it's simple, really. See, let's just say, let's just say, I see this. Let's just say this is my spider. We see a spider crawling uh-oh, look, it's getting close. Oh, shit, I'm scared of spiders. Guys, I'm really scared of those. It's that simple. All you really got to do when a spider comes near is punch the living shit out of it, so much so that it's splattered and turns into guts. So what if it's a bird-eating spider, you ask? Uh, I'm going to have to punch it a little more, but it'll still be one arm tied behind the back. What about venomous spiders, though? What about, like, black widows? I, I gotta punch it faster. More speed on that punch. More agility when it comes to that punch. Because I don't know about you, but I really don't want to get bitten by one of those. I'm gonna look at it, and I'm gonna fucking. Kill it. What animals could I possibly beat in Kung Fu is quite the interesting question if you think about it. But one animal that always comes to mind and, well, I could beat it. I don't think I'd beat it with one hand because that thing is fast as fuck. Is most likely going to end up being the cat. Hear me right? The average house cat. Would I be able to beat that thing with my dukes up and Kung Fu? Let's think about it. Theoretically, of course. Hypothetically. And most importantly smartly, intelligently, correctly. A cat could claw me and bite me. We're not going cat with rabies. Normal cat. But at the end of the day, we trapped in a small space and we both fighting for our lives. That cat is a goner. Ain't no way that cat living. 
I don't know about you, but I feel confident that I can take a cat in a fight. I don't know about you, but that pussy is mine. Not deviating too much from our average house cat, let's move on to another animal, fox. I know it's technically a, a dog and not a cat, but shit, I don't give a fuck. That dog, cat, fox is going fucking down. I don't give a shit what you say. Me versus fox, I'm whooping its fucking ass. It can have a fucking gun. Well, well, not easy. It could have a gun, and I'd beat that thing's ass. Little bitch is losing dead to rights. No fucking shot. I'm losing to a fox. I'm not going out that way. Easy fucking win. Give me a harder opponent. The hardest animal, which I left for last in this category, is actually incredibly difficult, and I debated over and over whether or not I could possibly beat this thing in a hand-to-hand -hand combat if we're both out in my territory or its territory, who's coming out on top and what are the chances I'm winning this? So for this one, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I'm not 100% confident in this. If I were to fight this thing, I'm pretty sure I'm a dead man. Because if I'm fighting this thing, I'm either not lasting too long or I'm coming out barely alive with blood everywhere and like bones showing. Like I'm not winning this steadily like I was the other two. This shit's gonna be tough. Coyote. Am I gonna beat a coyote? That's the real question I wanna ask you today. And I want you to ask yourself that too. Are you confident enough that you can defeat a coyote one-on-one -on -one if it came to life or death? No weapons, no anything, just a coyote. Are you beating that thing? I don't think so. It's a fucking coyote. Me though, I am a different breed. I am what they call a beast. I'm just built alternatively. I'm just better. And, but like if I'm fighting a coyote, I'm coming out like barely, like I'm not even limping, I'm like crawling if I can move. Like it's gonna be, it's a close one. Cause like coyotes, they're like a little bit bigger than dogs. They got some sharp teeth and strong jaws. They're fucking feisty, ferocious. I could. It'd be tough. Like, I'd need a little bit of lady luck on my side. I, like... I don't know. Let's say if I lose a little bit weight or I gain a little bit more muscle, I'd be a little bit more confident. Right now, I'm 160. Not a lot of strength in that body, mind you. Just a lot of hamburgers. A little bit less confident. But I think I could. At my peak... At my peak, I think I could take down a coyote. The last category I'm going to use today, I do have others in the back of my mind. Calm down. If we make another one of these, which I'm sure we will, I will add those other categories. But currently, I'm a little short on time. I want to get this done. I want to have it as good as possible. I don't want to have anything crazy. Last category is I'm going to need a gun. I'm going to need to be trained with that gun. I'm going tiger. All right. I know tigers... Some people are dumb as fuck and think they could beat a tiger. You're not beating a tiger. You're getting your ass kicked by a tiger. I just want to tell you. You're, you're fucking done. Tiger comes near you. Your bam, boom, pow. Throat is gone. Head is gone. Balls, gone. Did tiger take them? No, I did. That's besides the point. You're going to fucking die if you go up against a tiger. Tigers are going to whoop your ass beyond belief. You're going to think that you're getting hit by your dad's belt. But you're not. You're just going to be getting fucking eaten. It's like the Jungle Book. If you're burning, Tiger's gonna burn you. By RAR. RAR XD. You're getting fucked. Like, you're getting, like, DP'd by that Tiger. Like, you're, you're not beating a Tiger. I'm sorry. Like, it's... It's a fucking Tiger. What are you gonna do? Run? You're dead. You can't do anything. It's a fucking Tiger. What do you, what do you want to do? What are you, stupid? Think you can beat a Tiger? You can't even beat your own problems. How are you beating a tiger? That thing is fucking massive. That thing's like as big as me. That thing, tigers can go up to like 500 pounds. Dog. A tiger's half of the 1,000 pound sisters. And it's like muscle. It's only muscle. There's no fat in a fucking tiger. I don't know if you've seen a tiger. I don't know if you've ever been to a zoo. Even when it's enclosed, I fear for my life. Because that bitch is always staring at me right in my eyes. Because he knows I got that dog in me. And even though I got that dog in me, tigers eat dogs. 
With the gun? Maybe. If I'm trained? Yeah, possibly. But I'm not being 10 feet away from a fucking tiger. We're talking 50 feet, scope, trained. I'm not beating a tiger in any other way. There's just no way. It's a fucking tiger. What do you want me to do? I'm boned. The next animal I'm gonna go over for this category is, um... I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna put in two animals. Alligator slash crocodile. I don't care. You can use either one of them. You can make, a, like, a tiny one, like a teenager. Teenager alligator? Crocodile? I'm dying. I'll put up a bit of a fight. Like, I'll go down proudly like that. It's gonna be in critical condition if it's, like, a teenager or, like, a small one. But if we're talking full-fledged adult, fully grown, wild... I'm donezo. I don't know who you think I am. I, I don't even know who I think I am. At this point, if I'm going against a crocodile, I'm cutting my losses. I'm saying goodbye. I don't know about you. I'm not being able to even get close to taking down a crocodile. Like, I'm, I'm donezo. What am I going to fucking do? It's a crocodile. I'm dead to right. It's even worse than a fucking tiger. They kill, what, like 3,000 people per year? 1,000 people per year, I mean? Like, that's not a lot, but I don't kill a thousand people per year. You know why? It's not a fucking crocodile. If I were to ever see this last animal today, I would immediately piss my pants, cry, and if I were ever to somehow survive, I'd, like, tell Joe Rogan, because this is also, like, his fucking worst spirit animal. Grizzly bear. I don't know about you, I'm getting one tapped. Like, it's not even close. Like, with a gun. It'll take me, like, a shotgun. And then it'll do, like, 2 HP. I'm fucked, bro. It's like a grizzly bear? That shit's like a mythical creature. What am I supposed to do against a grizzly bear, bro? Like, I'm not even angry at this point. Like, I'm not gonna be angry when I go out. I see a grizzly bear. I got the fucking X's on my eyes, and I got my tongue sticking out. I'm already gone. Like, nobody's gonna beat a grizzly bear. No, what? You want spy kids to come in and try to beat them? No. You want me to try to go and beat a grizzly bear? No. You could pay me 30, you could say you're gonna pay me 30 million dollars. You're gonna make a contract right now. I'm declining. You know why? It's a fucking grizzly bear. The thing is big as fuck. You ever see a grizzly bear? It's like, it's like one of those guys from a porn video when they're big and buff and oily. Or it's like some guy at Comic Con. I don't know. Like, it's fucking terrifying. And. A little more unlike, fucking unlike people at Comic Con. Grizzly bears can fucking they can break a moose's back with one swipe of the paw. As Joe Rogan always said, <laughs> it's a grizz. End of the day, my ass is gone. And like I'm, I'm sorry. That's it. Like I'm, I'm dead.